attention seeking behavior. I guess I'm gonna have to go play with them. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye bye. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow, do all that kind of stuff. All right, get rid. Let me just turn this off. Ow! Hey guys, Justice Curry. Um. A little known fact is I don't like buying personal things for myself. It is very difficult to squeeze that dollar when it comes to buying something that goes in my collection. I don't have uh, any qualms about putting, you know, 10 grand down and buying a, co oh, hey, Randy. I'll buy a collection for 10 G's here, there, everywhere, and oftentimes I save a few pieces, I flip the rest, and I just keep snowballing it. So many of these pieces come from just collections, and but paying full price for things, it's hard for me. I like the thrill of the hunt, going to toy shows, going to my friends' houses, and buying things here and there. But paying full retail, it's just something weird about it. Well, I've been watching this uh, auction, not auction, but I've been having a saved eBay listing for a long time, waiting to get this item, which I'll show you in a moment, at a bidding price, because I, I've, eBay, you can look at what's sold, and you can you know sort highest to lowest, and typically the highest will be the buy it now stuff, the stuff people just put on there and wait sometimes years to sell it, which is not my style. The real value, in my mind, is the bidding value. What you put it out there, and you have seven days, and all these eyeballs go on it, and you have people go head to head and you look at the average prices of solding through bidding, not buy it now. Now I commend the buy it now guys that sell on there. I just don't, <laughs> I didn't even know the chair could lean forward like that. Did you break it? Don't fall. Anyway, uh, none of these items came up for bidding auctions. They were like 700, 650, buy it now. I'm like, I don't, I can't spend that kind of money personally. I used to be able to, but yeah. Now with um, you know my retaining wall, I'm trying to save money and dig myself out of debt because I had a catastrophic uh, retaining wall issue. Also, plug, if you have any toys that you want to sell, if you're ever thinning down your collection or selling your collection at any point, follow me on Facebook, hit, hit me up. I pay good money, I travel all over the world. Not world, I've been to Canada. Mainly the U.S., sorry. But people from out of the country, I've had people ship me several large boxes of things that are valuable. Um, you know, they're from Argentina, Venezuela, what have you, and they're like, uh, I don't want to individually sell these. you want to buy this collection? I'm like, yep. All right, without further ado, since I've been talking, and I have a cold, so if I sound a little weird, I've been talking for three minutes without showing you any toys, so... I probably only hear my mom watch. on this I don't know um, it's been a couple years ago and I've just wanted it more than anything I thought it was so unique I love the uh, like ancient Chinese porcelain look to it that you would normally find on pottery and look what she did to this chair it's lean I don't know if you can tell the full it's tilted forward you made it all crazy well a little known uh, trick that I utilize sometimes is I search Facebook for the item that I'm looking for and I look at old posts sometimes a year old two years old and sometimes guys you know 
never sold it. So specifically with this one, that's exactly what I did. I searched for it. I found like three old posts two years ago, a year ago, six months ago. And I messaged all three guys because I saw it wasn't sold. And two of them said, nope, it's sold. And one said, uh, I still have it. And I think he wanted like 500. I offered 400. And I believe we met in the middle at like 450. And he coincidentally had it already for sale on eBay for six something. And I'm like, listen, dude, you're saving yourself the 15% eBay piece. So there's your money right there. And he's like, yeah, you're right. So thank you, Kelly, for selling this to me. Ooh, it's beautiful. Uh, this is, I think, the first time that I've ever bought a hot toy myself. Um, I've owned so many hot toys and sideshow figures, but they all come from buying. Brandy, Brandy, it's annoying. Um, they all come from buying large collections of people that have 20 figures, 50 figures, what have you. And then I keep a few of them for myself, like I took, alluded to in the past. Oh, this is nice. You always gotta ask those questions. Does it smell like smoke or does it smell like animals? Early on in my toy collecting, I didn't ask that. And you buy something, you get it home, and you're like, oh, it smells like cat pee. It smells like smoke, oh. You can't get that out. And ain't nobody want that. That makes the value like a 10th of what it really is. A big hot toy collection I bought one time that smelled like smoke a little bit. So there we go. What do you think, baby? Oh! What is it? It is a stormtrooper. My daughter here, Brandy, she, uh, oh no. One little bummer. Peace. Um, I don't know if I should address this or not. He probably had it in a hot environment because it's touching this thin plastic and this hand extra accessory was in there. So the thumb melted to the plastic. See that hole right there? It transferred. So, I mean, that does lower the value a little bit. But it might. <sighs> what? She's putting this on my chair. This vintage Ghostbuster trap. What are you doing? She's setting traps for me. Oh, wow. I even like the eyes are blue. So that will never get Don't sold. Come, that's gonna sir. that's gonna go into my personal collection. Alright. And even the gun. Beautiful. I saw some AI art recently of like a xenomorph, an alien, predator, Godzilla, and it made it look like they're porcelain figures and they're beautiful. It made me want that this this much more so I like it I like it a lot so you know what I work hard I'm constantly hustling if you guys don't follow me on social media specifically Facebook you see me making posts constantly um, with selling stuff buying stuff and every once in a while I gotta, I gotta buy something for me so this is a thing I can't believe I'm not wearing a hat it's like one of my Probably out of 250 videos, I bet you there's only two or three that I'm not wearing a hat. But I'm, I'm sick, I don't care, I'm wearing pajama pants, it's all good. My daughter, attention seeking behavior, I guess I'm not so All right, I'll see you guys, bye bye. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow, do all that kind of stuff. All right, get ready, let me just turn this off. Ouch!